Okay, here are some other questions that I'm asked all the time. I'm going to address one, and I'm going to do a series of videos on this. And that is, how do I get onto Broadway? How do I break in and make it on Broadway? How do I become a performer on Broadway? It's a huge question. And with Broadway back up and running, which is awesome, it's going to be back up and running at 100%. This is something that's even more relevant today. Look, Broadway had a massive resurgence over the past few years and certainly with shows like Wicked and Hamilton and things like that they've exploded Hades Town right and a lot of people want to get into this industry here's the way you do it work your ass off that's the way you do it make sure you have an incredible incredible skill set because you're going to be playing with the top of the top it's like saying how do I get into the NFL well number one you have to have the skill set to play football professionally at a very high level. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I've heard the stories when you go from college football to pros to the NFL, it's like night and day. It's fast, it's furious, it's fast paced, and the skill set is incredibly high. You may be a big fish in a small pond in your hometown right now, but when you get to New York and you're uh, competing with those people that are doing it on Broadway, you're no longer that big fish. You have to be able to compete skill level with the top of the top. So that's number one. Number two is persistence and consistency, right? Do not give up. Keep going and have a good work ethic. I remember getting up at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning to prepare for an open call at nine o'clock in the morning, getting there and standing in line, right? Things are a little different now than when I was coming up, but it's still the same basic principle. What is your work ethic compared to the other people in the industry? You may have the skill set, but if you do not show up on a consistent basis to do those auditions, you're just going to be sitting at home on your couch wishing and wondering where your dream is and why it's not coming to fruition. Right? So, skill set, consistency and work ethic. Number three, networking. Get around and be around the people that are doing it that are actually doing the thing that you want to do. I have a friend who, uh, my buddy Andrew Drost, who runs an amazing school in Manhattan, and he brings in faculty who are actually starring in Broadway shows and working in Broadway shows to work with his students. Those are the things that you want to be able to do. Talk to casting directors if you can. Don't be a jerk. Don't over like burden them. But be honest, have integrity, and go for your goals, right? You have to keep moving forward and learning continually. This is not a, hey, I'm good, give me a handout world. Okay, it, it's not. This is, this is what I can bring to the table. These are the skill sets that I have. This is how I'm going to be a benefit uh, for you, for your show, for your cast, and be a good, nice person, right? Nobody wants to work with a jerk. So the higher skill set you have, the better you are as a performer, the better you are in terms of your work ethic, showing up and doing the job on a consistent basis, which is going to outshine, meaning like other people who are sitting at home on their couch, you're not doing that. You're out moving, right? And then be a good person. Be somebody that people want to work with again and again and again. Those are my first three steps. There are many, many more. So take a look at those. Write down the things that you have and the things that you can improve on as a way to move forward. And hey, if you want more in-depth information on this subject, I wrote a number one best-selling book called The Artist's Survival Guide, What They Never Taught You in School. You can get it at my website. It's jamesbarber.com slash ASG book, or click the link somewhere here on this page. Also, while you're here, why not click the subscribe link to my YouTube page? It'll really help me. It'll really help you. And please share this video out to anyone who you think might benefit. More to come. Your destiny's waiting.